Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a complete, get completely unready with me. And if you are new here, hi, I'm Kira, and I make beauty videos. I make um, all sorts of different types of videos, but mostly beauty videos. I hope you guys enjoy this one. You want to decide to subscribe because I'm working on a 100 subscriber giveaway. So yeah. Go ahead and get started. So how I start removing my makeup, I start with this Garnier, Garnier Skin Active Soothing Cleansing Milk. I have the rose one. I don't recommend this. I'm just honestly using it because I have it. So I just pump a little bit in my hand and I kind of do this. And then I just start massaging it. What I don't like about it is it's very lotiony and I can't actually full on remove it. I get a residue and it sticks to my skin. But it's not really a remover type of thing. It's not the fact that it does great removes makeup. That's why I don't want to recommend that product. So then I go in with my Clarisonic Mirror. It's dirty and I need to clean it very badly. I wet it. Then I take my cleanser. I have been using this Bolero, my favorite brand from Dollar Tree, moisturizing facial scrub. This is coconut oil and sea salt. I just take a little bit on my Clarisonic. And then I remove my makeup. The rest will I remove my face makeup like that. And then I'm going to go in just to show you guys, like, to really, really make sure everything's off of my, of my face before I go in with, like, all my products. I'm going to use the All May Clear Complexion Makeup Removal Cleansing Palette. It says this is pore refining, clarifying, deep pore cleansing, and gently exfoliating. So I'm going to start with how I use these.
So these do leave a residue on my skin. Not really a fan of that. And I did have some makeup still left on my skin. Not that big of a deal as long as you I go back in and make sure you remove it. Just taking two cotton pads and going in with my Neutrogena Oil Free Eye Makeup Remover. This is the best stuff ever for removing eye makeup. Wasted a lot of it because it just poured out completely. That makes me sad. Alright, I just grabbed both of my cotton pads with the Neutrogena. I always just kind of like go over everything with my towel. I'm going to get drove insane if I don't clean up as I go, so. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Alright, so first things first is I go in with my, I call it my double cleanser, but it technically I guess would be like a triple cleanser, to be completely honest. Because I do really work to cleanse my, my skin, and that would be the Johnson's Head to Toe Baby Wash. I think this trick up from Jessica Brown. I just take one pump and do 30 seconds. And then I'm going to start moving into my actual like, full-on skincare, which I do have another video using these exact same products. This is just what works for me and my skin. I have normal to dry skin with sometimes dry patches. As of right now, I don't have any dry patches. I have redness right here, and I do have some for the skin. So what I go in with after I'm done completely cleansing and making sure my face is completely clear of makeup is I go in with my Elf Hydrating Water Essence. I put a little bit on the cotton pad. I'm going to pick up more of this. Probably from Ulta. Because I actually really like this. It is an extra step skincare routine, but if you have dry skin, I feel like it makes a difference in calming my skin. Alright, moving on to my toner. I have been using the e.l.f. Keep Your Balance Hydrating Toner because I do have dry skin again. And I do think that the e.l.f. products do kind of work really well together. So, again, my cotton pad. Now 
Next, I'll go in with my Spa Natural Vitamin E Beauty Oil. I use this as my oil slash serum because I feel like oils and serums can kind of go in the same category together. But this is the one that I use. I really like it. I actually really like this. It's a very thick oil. So you literally just need one drop. Super thick. I just dot it on the four spots of my face, like so, and I rub it in. This is a tip I picked up from Tati is massage your skincare into your skin upwards for you know the aging. Next product I go in with is my Pons Clarent B3 Dark Spot Correcting Cream. I do think that this actually does work. I only take a little bit because I don't really have to do too many dark spots, but I feel like if you use this consecutively with your dark spots, I have seen mine go away. Even some acne scarring as well. I just have a really bad one on my nose that I'm trying to get. Next, I go in with my Lux Beauty Care Retinal Cream. This is my moisturizer. I just do a little bit again, just like that beauty oil. It's very thick. And then I will go in with my e.l.f. Acne Spot Clearing Gel and just clear up any little tiny bits of acne. I don't really have too much acne, just really tiny ones pretty much. That's it for my skincare, but I do want to do a little bit more. Um, I have been binge recording. I'm on round two, and I wear a lot of makeup. I filmed four videos already today, so I'm going to go ahead and give my lips a little bit of Care, and I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Perfect Pout Lip Scrub. This is the watermelon one. And I'm just going to go ahead and exfoliate my lips because they've been through the ringer lady with those red lipsticks. <laughs> For sure. Alright, so that is it for today's video. That is my get completely unready with me. This is just what I do on a day to day. I need to wash my hair. This is just what I do on a day to day when I really, especially with you know, bench recording and stuff like that, really needing to take care of my skin. So give this video a like if you enjoyed and give me a subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel. That definitely would be great for me. And let's get the comment section below start talking about skincare.